this is why i don't like how we like blogs be like yeah cardi's getting an apartment after a divorce from offset like because i'm not getting no apartment because i'm getting divorced like i'm getting an apartment because look right now i'm in the city and like right now i'm in the city right and i need to go take a shower and i'm so tired of going to my engineer's gym bathroom to take a shower or sometimes i have to fucking rent a hotel to take a shower also my label i'm gonna be more closer with my label so i'm gonna be coming to to have meetings with my label label like twice a week and on top of that like i'm trying to get an office out here so i just need an apartment in the city i don't understand why i have i you know what the thing about it is also a lot of people have this impression that i live in atlanta I don't live in Atlanta. I ne I don't live in Atlanta. I have a house in Atlanta. I don't live there. I only go to Atlanta like three or four times a year. And probably I go for a week, maybe less. I never liked Atlanta. I tried to move in Atlanta in 2018. And I lived there for like six months. And I hated it. I don't have not one friend in Atlanta. And I don't have not even one family member in Atlanta. So I just don't like Atlanta. Yes, I, I have a house there. Me and Officer bought a house in Atlanta. And I just can't I just can't make it work. I don't like Atlanta. Um and we still have that house. Gosh. Bitch old face Stop calling me. She get me tight. If I don't fucking if I don't answer the fucking second time, why are you calling me thirty three times? Piss me the f Oh, one thing about it, baby, with this pregnancy, I get irritated quick. Because they want to get on Zoom calls with me no more. Like, be scared of. Be scared to be on Zoom calls with me. I be screaming like a. Be so mad. I get mad really quick. Everything irritates me. I need to get. I need to give birth to this baby because I don't want people to think that like that my character is my pregnant character because my pregnant character is mean as they got me so hot and and calling again and fucking calling again i'm gonna get the fuck out of here because i need to know what the fuck they don't talk about my wig don't talk about my wig don't talk about my wig Damn, I, would, I need to call my... You got Lavami's number? Mm -hmm. Fuck, I need to get my thing from downstairs. Where's my fucking followers at? I want to say one fucking thing to you motherfuckers. <laughs> I want to talk about this. Where's my followers? It's 3 a.m. over here. It's 6 a.m. And where the fuck eat the Eastern shit? I want to say this though, right? Y'all know I'm not voting. And I got my reasons why I'm not going to vote. But I do have some of my opinions, right? I feel like is it was very selfish of Biden or the whole Democrat, the whole Democrat um party association, whatever the fuck they got going on. I feel like it's very selfish that they um allow Biden to continue to run for president. I feel like they should have passed the torch to Kamala to Kamala. Like this, this was the perfect moment for her. Like it's like right now, I don't feel like we have uh, strong candidates. We don't have strong candidates. I feel like this would have been her perfect time to shine. We already know that she's sharp with the fucking mouth. We already know that whatever the fuck, whatever value that Biden wants, it, 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 she's practically the same value. So I feel like it was a little bit selfish to not make that choice. To give her this moment to run for presidency. Now, she most likely going to run for presidency in four years or in eight more years. And it's going to be a little bit tougher for her. So, it's like, not only is it going to be a little bit tougher for her to run for president. But it's also, again, it's going to be a little bit tough, tougher for a black woman to run for president. So, it's like, this was the perfect moment, the perfect chance. Like, Joe Biden, like, it's like... I personally just feel like he should just enjoy his life right now 
with his with his children, with his grandkids. You already made a legacy. You already made a legacy. You already became president. You did something that you always wanted to do, and that's become president. You don't have to. You ain't had to run for a second term. This should have been the perfect moment to give it to Kamala. And it's like I. It's right now like this. I don't know. Like even like with the whole debate and everything or not. I am so like not. It's like, oh my gosh, like, why they just didn't just, somebody said Kamala wouldn't win unless she switched up hard. Um, look at, look at, look at the, the, actually, I think so, because let's, let's be real, right? America is a big reality TV show. America is a reality TV show. And it's like, I feel like it would have been so controversial for Joe Biden to step down and Kamala just take over. People would have loved it. Um I mean like look at the look at the 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 fucking debate. That shit was like a love and hip hop show. Like it's like it was just like it was just a love and hip hop like reunion. So it's like imagine she would have she would have watched Trump she shared the same value she, Joe Biden was going to do. They already, there was already, they, everything they did this past four years is already setting up for the next four terms. So it was, it's just, uh, it was, I don't know, it's just a little selfish for the whole Democrat party to not give her this moment. Because she might not ever get this moment again. That's all I'm saying. What you fuck is this saying? Somebody say Kamala's a no. Uh, Kamala's a no. Um, okay. And Biden is a yes. They share the same values. They share the same fucking values. They share the same fucking everything. Like, should've just gave it to should've just should've just gave her this moment for her. It's almost like, okay, like it's almost like she would have continued what Biden is doing, so it wouldn't really make a change, but it's still like Bro, I don't know, like Biden right now is really moving like my pappy. Like my pappy is only, well, you know what? I think there is a big difference between 80 and 88 because my granddaddy 88. But it's like, come on, you're in your 80s. Um, and I don't think he's healthy for being a eight, for being 80 years old because Patty LaBelle just turned 80 years old. And honey, she could sit me the fuck down. Okay, Patty LaBelle is 80 years old and she could sit me the fuck down. But you could see the difference between Patty LaBelle and Joe Biden. They're not they're not the same type of 80 years old. They're not the same type of 80 years old. Like, come on now. So I just don't feel like he's all the way healthy. And I feel like, bro, you already built your legacy. You already became president. You already said you, you, you already you. you mm, it's just selfish. It's selfish of them not to give it, not to uh, have Kamala uh, as president. And she knows she wants that fucking seat. She'll be fucking lying. She'll be like, no, I'm okay being a vice president. Bitch, you know you want to be the president. You should you should have backdoor Biden. That's what you should have done. Bitch, you should have backdoor Biden. Fuck these white niggas. This was your moment, bitch. Them niggas robbed you out your fucking moment. I'm telling you, they robbed you out your moment. You should have been there debating Trump. Listen to me. You need her bitches as your friends. Because you, it should have been your moment, Kamala. And you know it. You know you want to be the fucking president. You know in the next four years it's gonna be hard for you to uh run for candidate. This was your moment. You should let you should have told that nigga, listen, 
I'll buy you a fucking wheelchair and you get the fuck on. It's my turn now, nigga. It's my turn. Somebody said my tits are short. My tits are not short. Listen, my fucking nipples look like I fucking fed a village. Yeah, I know I got big nipples. Like, it's like they're always going to come out. They're the fucking size of a fucking Mac Muffin griddle patty. Okay? These are not nipples. These are... I don't know. These are not... I don't know. They're just fucking... They're just always going to make an appearance. Like, act like you're not even seeing them. Like, they're not even here. These are like... Just think that these are tattoos because they're huge. Look, look, look at this how big my nipples are. They're this big. I fed a whole village in the Dominican Republic with these fucking nipples. Stop, stop bringing it up. They're not even nipples. They're fucking, I don't know. So, yeah. That, that is just a little something that I say. Now, I ain't fucking with none of them. I ain't fucking with no Democrats, and I'm not fucking with Republicans. And I told ya, I kind of told ya why I'm not fucking with none of them. However, I will say that this should have been a Kamala's moment. Kamala, you should have backdoored your Biden. You should have backdoored his ass. I don't give a fuck. Should have been your moment. You should have been up there fucking debating that motherfucking orange motherfucking motherfucker up there. You should, it should have been you. Because it's like, all right, like let's say if Kamala would have run for president, right? She would have continued the same thing that Joe Biden did. But you know the thing about it is that they just, they just don't believe in her. They didn't believe in her. That nigga needs to go and retire in Florida. Kamala, this should have been your moment because in the, the next four years, we're going to have fresh candidates. Trump is not going to fucking exist. Biden is not going to exist in the next four years. We're going to have fresh faces running. We're going to have new candidates, new everything. And Kamala is going to be very fucking hard. For you to run for a fucking president. This should have been your moment. These white motherfuckers. Rock okay so I don't want to look desperate. But I have to do this cry out for help. Because I, when I told you Switzerland, London, Paris, New York. I cannot fucking find this bag. I really need this Hermes bag. Because like I'm just going through a lot right now. Like I'm going through a lot right now. And if I don't get this bag. If I get this back, I just know I'm going to feel better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just know that it will brighten up my day. So, if you got to connect, I'm not buying nothing resale, bitch. I'll probably, I'll probably pay somebody, like, you know, an extra five, a little extra five racks for sourcing it. But I'm not fucking, not spending no fucking 80000 on a purse, bitch. I'm not doing that shit no more. You can't trick me no more. You guys don't understand. Like, I feel so poor. Like, I, I don't understand how I don't got the bag yet. Like, I keep seeing the Asians with this purse. And it's like, how you got that bag? And I don't have it. Like, I'm Cardi B. And it's just like, it's so frustrating. Like, every single day, I keep seeing more and more people on my Explore page have the purse. But... I can't find the purse. Like, I can't fucking find the purse. Like, every single day I call my Hermes Connect. And she just, like, it's just still not in the store. It's, like, I am just so fucking over it. Like, I'm fucking over it. Like, like I'm just so over it. Like, I'm so tired of everything. I'm fucking fat as fuck. I, like, I'm just, I just can't do this anymore.